today we are looking at thimbleberry, and thimbleberry is one of my favorite berries around here. Uh, these are in their flowering stage, so you can't see the berry, but I wore my thimbleberry hat. The berries, they look pretty much like this. So they're these beautiful uh, red, red tasty berries that are sweet, and they're very shallowly domed, so they fit perfectly on the very end of your finger like a thimble. Uh, so that's why it has such a cute name. Just one of these berries contains between 70 to 125 seeds in it, which is quite a bit. Uh, even better, not only are they tasty, but they are unarmed. You don't have to fight the, the thorns and brambles like you'd have to do with blackberries. So if you look at the leaves here, they grow alternate. Uh, they're soft and fuzzy, uh, and they look kind of like maple leaves. They're both lobed and toothed. And uh, the bigger ones can make a kind of nice little makeshift berry basket if you need something to pick them into. Uh, they have these gorgeous white flowers that are kind of crinkly, and I think it looks kind of like a combination between a blackberry blossom or a wild rose. This plant was eaten by all of the native peoples in the Northwest. Uh, they would either eat the young shoot raw, kind of like a green vegetable, or they would eat the berries, and both the shoots and the berries are high in vitamin C. Uh, it was used medicinally as well. They would dry and powder the leaves and use it on wounds to prevent scarring. And the leaves could also be made into a tea that they used to treat anemia. The berries could be eaten fresh or they could also be dried for later use. And some of the tribes around here would pick them before they had ripened and put them in a cedar bark bag. And I think this was a really smart thing because it would probably let them beat the birds to it. So robins and crows and swains and thrushes around here all love these berries too. And at the University of British Columbia, they did a study to see how long a thimbleberry would last on the plant before a bird got it. And the average berry lasted only 1.9 days. So they're very, very tasty. Uh, and if you want to try them, you got to beat the birds.